Hello everybody, once again to Northern Card Gaming. My name is Andrew Prine and today we'll be looking at one of my favourite decks of the current format. This is Tapu Bulu Vika Vault. This is a deck I've got a lot more experience with than I had had with Volk, but I wanted to show off Volk quickly because Volk is the first deck I really started playing with. So now it is on to my favourite deck of the format. Here we have our Tapu Bulu GX. Now what does he do? Well, He's 150, he's 150, oh god, that'd be terrible, 180 HP grass type Pokemon, the uh, GX Pokemon obviously, and he has three quite good attacks. The first one for a grass energy is Horn Attack for 30. Horn Attack for 30 is quite good, if you don't have Choice Band and you want to make uh, Stage 1 GXs, such as Alolan Ninetales GX, more in range of your second attack, which is Nature Judgment. Two grass energy and a colorless energy, you do 120 base damage. And you may discard all the energy off this Pokemon, so your three you've got on it. And if you do, you do 60 more damage, making your base output 180. This is one hit KO on basic GXs, such as Drampa GX, as well as other basic GXs, such as, uh, well, sorry, with a Fighting Fury belt, it can take out other basic GXs like Turtlinator GX. And it's killing most basic e um, EXs as well. The other 190 EX, um, GX, sorry, he is killing is Lapras, but you've got weakness on him anyway, so you're killing it without even discarding the energy. The third attack is Tappy Wilderness GX. 150, Choice Band makes 180, so you're still knocking out those Tap Drampa GXs for 100, uh, for, well, I discard the energy, and you heal all damage off it. This is a tank. If you have Fighting Fury Belt on it, it does 160, yes, but that means that you can go up to 100, 210 HP, not get KO'd, and then wipe it all off. So they've got to try and do two hundred and more than 220 again next turn. This card is quite a tank. Now, it's we play three off in this deck, but the main question on anyone's mind when it first came out was, this card's good, how do you get three energy on every turn? Well, we play Vika Vault. Vika Vault is a stage two, so we do have the inconsistencies of a stage two deck in here. We, we have, we're playing rare candies and Skyliss and this sort of stuff, but we do have the, those inconsistencies. And at 150 HP lightning type with this ability, strong charge. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a grass and a lightning energy and attach them to your Pokemon any way you like. So the deck's, deck is very simple. Turn one, you, uh, you get Tapu Bulu GX, you then Lele, hopefully for a Bridget, and two more, two Grubbins, and another Bulu. Next turn, you attach your Grass Energy to Bulu, and then you Rare Candy up a Vika Vault, Grass Energy, Lightning Energy to the, um, to the Bulu, and there you go. You're doing 180, or 190, or 210 by turn two. This deck hits very, very hard. The deck is incredibly not inconsistent it can be inconsistent but like all stage two decks you have that problem but this card makes it very very good and makes it very once you get set up it's very hard to beat you it actually end proofs the whole deck the deck is completely end proof not completely end proof but if you get two of these um end doesn't really hurt you you're just getting energy from the deck from the deck is the main pro is the main thing here because if from this card mm, might be a scrape, but from the deck means you're always hopefully going to have it. So you play a 3-1-3 three, three line of Vika Vault. That means three Grubbins, one Charger Bug, and of course three Vika Vault. So that's the deck. Three, three, three Bulus, and of course a 3-1-3 three, three line of Vika Vault. For support Pokemon, we're playing two Tapu Coco promos. This is the non-GX non Tapu Coco promo, obviously. And we're playing it for the first attack, which is Flying Flip. This attack does 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. This is a, the best starter in the deck because of its free retreat. And it is also one of the best cards to, them to attack with against decks that you're not one hit KO on. Mainly Metagross. You fly and flip twice on against Metagross. Now suddenly the Metagrosses are in one hit KO range of your Tapu Bulu. So if you want to use Coco in this deck. This card is basically the floating card. Um, it's, uh, if, you, if your decks aren't really running... Many stage two that you can't get over. Maybe drop it to one, but I play two because Metagross is the important card to try and get over. And it does help with certain cards like Megas, for instance. If you see Mega Ray or something stupid like that, this card helps you take get that one hit KO on those cards. So I play two of them. We then are playing, of course, two Tappy Lele for the Wonder Tag ability. Put it on your bench, get a supporter. Simple and effective, and also Energy Drive. Which of course does 20 damage to, um damage the amount of energy on both Pokemon actually helped me out once in the Metagross match because obviously Bulu can't want to KO it. I then had to put 10 energy on a Lele, or was it eight, I think it was eight, eight with a choice band, 
and finally was able to KO it. And that won me the game against Metagross that I really, really should not have won. So we play two of them, one of the main setup cards in the deck, but we also play the old favourite setup card, which is Shaman, of course setup. Play the Pokemon on your bench and draw up to six cards. Quite a good draw supporter and uh, support Pokemon. And if you're really digging hard for that rare candy or that Vikavol, this will really help it. Um, it's a card I, I rarely really go for, but it is good to have it in the actual deck. It's also really, really good for late game bursts of speed. Because you can go Shaman for six, hopefully get a Sycamore, then Sycamore your entire hand away. And then draw an extra seven cards. So it's very, very good. It is very, very good for that sort of thing. So that's the Pokemon list. Simple 15 Pokemon. Quite a good wee list of Pokemon. I think it's quite a good. The only really card I could change would be maybe taking away one Coco for something else. And that's really about it. So now we're on to the actual items. We're playing two Energy Recycler. You can play one Energy Recycler or one Brock's Wit or two Energy Recycler. I prefer playing two Energy Recycler just because there's never a time where I want to grit. It's always I want to get the energy back in and then play a different supporter. So I think in two, another physical copy of Energy Recycler would help. This deck, if it runs correctly, doesn't use many items, so you don't really mind putting another item in for garb. But that's really a, a, that's okay in my opinion. And overall, I prefer Energy Recycler. I do like Energy Recycler as a card, so we play a two off of that. One Escape Rope. We've got a lot of heavy retreaters. Bulu is a three. And you're discarding all the energy usually. This is a three. Uh, and the rest are usually one. But it's really for those Pokemon. It helps out with that. It's another physical switch card. Much like um, we're playing two switches later on. And it's very, very good for that sort of thing. For physical switch cards, you need physical switch cards in this deck. You could play Float Stones. We've got a lot of tools anyway. So I don't want to use too many tools. So overall, I really like having more switch actual physical switch cards. So... Next up, we have two field blowers. Some deck play three, and three is a potential. I like three because of Garbodor, Garbo Toxin, but two also works. Um, I think three is more of a safer play, but if you want to play three, you can. I play two. I think two is enough. You score two um, in any combination of Pokemon Tool and Stadium. Use all your opponents. So you can, in theory, take out your Fury Belt and put on a Choice Band, but not the best idea. Good card. Play a two off. Does help out with Garbodor. To Heavy Ball, your main people you want it for, Bulu and Charger Bug and Vika Vault, are all Heavy Ball Charger Balls. We play two Heavy Ball. It's basically an Ultra Ball for them, except you're only using one item instead of using Ultra Ball, which may require two. So it's very, very good. That kind of thing. So I play a good two off. Rare Candy, we play four off. It's a Rare Candy deck. We need we need to get CH2 up and running as quickly as possible. So we play Rare Candy. This skips your frame. This obviously, we play um. You can choose a basic Pokemon and play and put a stage two card on it, and so it skips the third um, the the stage one. Uh, had to be down for a turn anyway, but it does skip that turn one, which is uh, that stage one, which is really really good for this deck because it means you can Vika Vika Vault by turn two, and hopefully have a part of Bulu. To switch, like I said, switching cards are really really good for this deck, just in case you need them. I for having physical switch cards, so there's a switch. Now we play two switches in this deck. And for search, we have four Ultra Ball, of course, along with the Heavy Ball. Ultra Ball, we play a four off. It's Ultra Ball. It's very, very good. Helps you to get Shamans. Helps you to get Leleys into your hand for use. And helps a lot of things. So it's always good to have Ultra Balls in deck. Now, what are we missing? We're missing VS Seekers. And we're playing a lot of physical supporters, which gets around the VS Seekers. But this is what the main deck doesn't play. We don't play VS Seekers. An item we don't need to use. We've got enough physical supporters to play throughout the game. So we should be okay without VS Seeker. It's also another reason why I don't want to play Brock's Grit. Because often you're playing Grit to put it into the uh, discard pile. So you can use it with VS Seeker. So that's really important to use two Seeker Energy Cycles in this deck. So on the supporter line we're playing one Bridget. The best turn one supporter you can play in this, de in this deck. Search your deck for one basic Pokemon EX or three basic Pokemon except for EX. And put them onto your bench. And because it says EX not GX you can go for GX. So... Really one of the best turn ones you can have is starting off with a Bulu and then Leleing for Bridget or even having Bridget in hand and then getting two Grubbins and another Bulu and that sets you up for the next turn to be able to have at least a Grubbin for to get your Vika Vault out. So it's very, very good first turn one. If it's prize, it's not the end of the world, but it is annoying with prize. You could play two to stop this. I play one just because of space, but I think two might be a good idea. Two Lysander, uh, important card. You can get 
easy prizes off for your Lele's because you're 1k on Lele no matter what, unless Fire and Fury belted. Uh, which you get by choice band over with choice band anyway. It's really, really good for for ending games. It's always good to have two. We play two uh, mainly because we don't we we play three because of no VS secret. But two seems to be working quite well for me. I'm okay with that. Uh, two N and two Sycamore. This is a very low kind of Sycamore. We're not playing very draw supporters. That's mainly because we're using a lot of Skyla, and Skyla is mainly used because you want to get exact cards. You want to get exactly a rare candy or a heavy ball for um. You want to get a heavy ball to get your Vika Vault, or you want to get your pieces to get Vika Vault. You need to have Vika Vault out by turn two, or this deck kind of starts to falter a bit. So, 2-2, uh, people might say you got to play more draw support for that reason, but I like 2-2 seems to be working quite well, because you play 3 Skyla, get a trainer card, put it in your hand. Simple as that. It is really, really good for this deck, because you need to get Vika Vault, Vika Vault like I said, Vika Vault out by turn two. So... You you basically Skyla for your rare candy or your heavy ball, your ultra ball. Some trainer be able to get you that Vega Vault by turn two, and you also lay lay out if you need to. And one teammates, if you get a card knocked out, you can teammates for like a Vega Vault rare candy and set up again. Um, it's really really good for that sort of play. I do love teammates in this deck. Teammate re teammates really helps out in certain situations. Search deck for two cards, any two cards, put them in hand when you get a, a, one of your Pokemon knocked out. For tools, two choice ban. Choice ban really helps against stage one decks, uh, stage uh, uh, GX stage ones, because they're usually 210, and with choice ban, you're doing 210. Really helps out with that. Really helps out with um, even uh, basic GXs because of your able to tap your wilderness GX them for 180, so heal all your damage off while still killing it. So two choice bands really work, but we're but we're in this deck we play three fighting fury belts. Fury belts really important in this deck for two reasons. You sacrifice a lot of potential one KOs for stability. So this card's really good in the Zoroark match because Zoroark, if without fury belt, completely destroys you because it's taken your type of wilderness. It's not type of wilderness. It's taken your um, nature judgment, discarding one dark energy off it and doing 180. And killing you. Fury Belt means they don't do that. Even with Choice Band, they're doing 210 and not one hit KO on you. So that means you can tap the Wilderness KO them back, which is very, very good. So Fire Belt is very good at that. And also means you can kill 130 basic non EXs like Volcanion or Xerneas without discarding the energy because you're doing an extra 10 damage. So it's very, very good fighting Fury Belt. Energy Count is a strange one in this deck. Uh, some play uh, 8 3, some play 8 4. Some people play 7 5, we're playing 7 5. Um, really, because you're always using and going to have enough grass uh, grass energy, it's really lightning is the problem. So, playing a, a phys more physical lightning is also is always very, very good in this deck because of your guys to get vehicle vaults, and usually you have enough. So, this is the deck. This deck we'll be using today. I love this deck. The deck I've had the most experience with in, the, in, the, in recent months, or recent, yeah, recent month, month or two, and I do really like it. So, hopefully, I can show off how the deck works. Via some battles, let's go and do some battles. Hopefully, they're better than the Volk ones, which was two. Try to match. Oh, whoops. Let's save our thing here. Let's go to versus. Uh, this is another Tapi Book um, Tapi Bulu list. I might show you show it at the end, but here's the deck we're going to use them today. So let's see who we get. Hopefully, some it's not an ultra auto loss. I don't think it will be. We're playing against. Oh, it might be a Bulu. It might be a Bulu mirror match. And Mirage would be pretty fun, I think. So let's see, we lost coin flip, of course. And we're going to see what our turn is. We start off Bulu. Two Bulus is not bad. We can then... Two Bulus isn't bad, but we're not really getting any sort of... Um, charger Bugs. This would be a really good hand if I had Charger Bug, to be fair. But we're going to see what, we start, what he starts off with. And he starts off with a Grubbin. That's quite good. Grubbin's hard to get out of the active. So... He's going to be attached to the Grubbin. That's not good for him, really. He's got Flows on the Grubbin now. So I don't know if he's going to end us. So th let's see what we can get end. What we can get end into. Hopefully it's something good. Oh, I wasn't great. Hopefully I have some sort of way of getting Bridget. And there is Bridget Rare Candy. If we do not get... If we don't get um, end again, we are doing very well. Let's see what we've got here. We've got our two Grubbins. And we do have another Bully. No point going for another Bully. I think we'll go for... A Coco, just in case we need a free retreat. 
So let's see, we've got two Lele's here, we've got our Shaman, got another thing, Charger Bug here, there's our Vika Vaults. Um one go heavy ball, we got them. I think we have one oh, we have two ultra ball two ultra ball prized, one Lysander prized. Nope, that's not prized. To the end, yep. I think we have one grass energy prize, so nothing too bad prize. I think we'll run one grubbin prize as well. We'll do that. And basically all we're gonna do is attach and attack for 30. Our our first turn was very, very good. So what are we going to have near next? What's his turn going to be? He's going to rare candy into a Vika Vault. And is it, could it be Vika Vault GX? No, it's going to be Vika Vault GX. He's going to attack us with, with his move, I wonder. He's going to stick him more. So we're guaranteed Vika Vault next turn, which is pretty good. That is very good to be guaranteed a Vika Vault. And here comes... He gets his Bulu. He's going to get Grass Energy. He's not going to get two Lightning. Three Lightning. He's got a Strong Charge, probably two... The Bully, obviously. He has grass in hand. That's not good for us. He has a grass in hand. So we're being knocked out here. We're ending him, definitely. But we're going to be re we're going to be repeating the KO on him. It's not too bad. We've guaranteed ourselves Vika Vaults. So I think our course of action here really is put up this Vika Vault. We know we're not going to need him, I don't think. We get a Lele, which is pretty damn good. It means we can Skyla, we can probably Lele for a Sycamore here, but I think we're going to end him anyway. Let's get this out of the way first. Get our own Vika Vault. We've got to throw on charge, of course. Just to make sure we don't end into the energy, or end into Lightning, really, is the problem. So here we are, and we are going to end this hand. We're going to hope and pray for Grass. Don't get grass. This is not good. Um, we can charge a bug here, though. And this really isn't great for us, I don't think. I'm just trying to think here what we can do. I think we're going to have to horn attack, and that is not a good turn for us. But we are getting two of these out next turn. We do have the Coco if he takes out this one again. So it really comes down to what we get here. I think we're just going to have a horn attack. Horn attack's good because it means if he horn attacks us, we could. I don't know what it was going to be. If he gets grass, I think we're kind of lost. But we'll see. Heavy balls. So what's he going to heavy ball for? Unless he's just thinning his deck. Or, yeah, it's definitely his. He's, oh, he fails the heavy ball. Gets another Bulu down. Strong charges. To the to the strong charges to the bench. So we're gonna be killing this bench one off. There's our grass. Let's Lele for Lysander. So we can knock out this Bulu. We need the Enem. We can then play our another Vika Vika Vault. Don't need a Vigo ball here, just need a dump. So we take out that KO. So we've now returned KO on him. We're now on four prizes. Well, we'll get our prize again, Ultra Ball and a Heavy Ball. That's not bad. We need a Heavy Ball, we can Heavy Ball for a Bulu next next turn. If we don't, if we don't get return KO'd, oh, that's a bad turn. Jeez. Any victories? Victory for Vika Bulu. Uh, clearly his hand was dead. We were, we were knocking out that Vika Vault and then we are going to burn knock out that Bulu. We, we were going to have Heavy Ball for another Bulu. That shows how powerful this deck is. Just how quickly it can get KOs on basics and those sort of cards. Good, good win for us. Let's play another one. I think, I think we deserve another, another wee game. Another Vika Bulu <laughs> mirror match. Oh dear, we're getting all Vika Bully mirror maps. Well, I'm getting a good go at the, at the mirror map. Going first is very, very good in this match. Not as good a start. Although we do get a switch, to be honest. So it's actually not too bad. Hopefully this game doesn't lag at me. Come on, little grubbin. Come on, little grubbin. Come on, there we go. Right. 
so let's see how our two decks function here. It's going to be a Lele first turn. Blood or Bridget. So it doesn't even matter. We've got two. We won't, we won't go. We go one Grubbin. And we go two Bulu if you have it. We do have two Bulu. Two Lele. One Coco prized. Um, no Vika Vault prized. I think we have one Rare Candy prized. We'll put this in our hand. We've got one Ultra Ball prized. We have no Second Morph prized. And we have... One grass and one lightning prized. So this is what we're going to do here. We're then going to attach to the Bulu, and we're going to switch into that Bulu just to get the switch out of our hand, just in case we get an end. So as us really, let's go next. Let's go next. Um, depending what we draw next turn, we can see what we can do here. It's all, all depending. Okay, that was simple. Clearly, we our setup was just too good for that for that girl. I think it was a girl. Or is it his again? Whoops. No, it's a guy. Whoops. Here's a guy. So our setup is good. Now let's try again. Hopefully we don't get another Vika Bulu mirror match. Potentially Vika Bulu. Actually, actually it mightn't have been, but the, the set three numbers sort of look like Vika Bulu. It's not Vika Bulu. It looks like... Ooh, what the heck is that now? Very dark, fighting, colourless. I'm not quite sure. I think what deck might play fairy with dark and fighting. I'm going to find out. And also coin flip, which is a shame. But our opponent's turns, so what's our dipper? We're getting a good dumping hands here. Coco! Not a bad go at all. Not a bad starter at all. Um, it's a good starter against stage 2 decks because we get attach, then next turn attach and start spreading. And then have a chance against the big decks. Or better decks, anyway. Uh, like, uh, not better decks, just decks we find hard to kill. So start off with Coco. And no card on the bench, obviously, so let's see what we're playing against. It is Rainbow Road. No, Rainbow Road's difficult. Rainbow Road is very difficult. Um, depends entirely on how good their um, match really is. Um, Fighting Fury Battle's not bad for this match. Fury Battle's really good for this match. Diglett. That's an interesting one, but Ultra Ball's not bad. That's Ultra Ball, I think. Uh, Ultra Ball that, and I guess the Grass Energy. So we can get Lele. Let's see our deck here. Yep, Lele. We got Bridget prized. That will change a lot of things. No, Bridget's not prized. Um, we have one N prized. One Grass, one Lightning again. Um, one Energy Recycler, I think. Um, one Grubbin prized. So, another Lele. Like Bridget. So Bridget gets us basically our cool gang right here. I'm fighting through about up the lovely jubbly Bulu, and I don't know whether we would we should retreat into the Bulu or not. I'm trying to think really. Um what are the chances of him getting 30, 60, 90? Very high, so I think we're going to retreat to the Bulu. There's much more chance of him killing this than that, hopefully. Hopefully that's not a bad, that's not, that wasn't a bad play. That's 13. There's a break. We break the balls, and there is our thing, our sycamores. Might be a good play, to be fair. It might, might, might have been a very bad play. If it was, I apologise. We're going to see if he gets Skyfield and Death. 3, 6, 9, 12, 13. He's not one I came with. He's got 15 HP. Is it 150 or 160? 150. So we can Wilderness him. Oh shit. <laughs> Excuse my English. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 19. So we're not dead yet. But we do need the wilderness. Elixir would hurt. Let me get the elixir. And there's fairy garden. That's an interesting one. Rare candy? Oh. Let's go for our heavy ball. We'll have a heavy ball for a charger bug to help us out with this sycamore. 
you know, a second one is hand. Hopefully for a grass, mm, need a lot actually. We didn't get any of it. Hmm. You see this deck is pretty damn hard. We're gonna have to switch into our cocoa here, try and protect this. Um the field blower were kind of gone, I think, unfortunately. This is the kind of deck that Rainbow Force is. Rainbow Force is such an all in and it really went all in today. That nest ball to the well, it was really the nest ball of the vault that sort of hurt it. Uh, we can Skyler for uh, we can um, teammates. I think our, our I think that's our best bet here is teammates. Can't you can't Lysander away the Vika Vault, which is good. So we get that. I like my energy. So we're gonna have a teammates here and we want teammates. Teammates for a Vika Vault and a Grass Energy, I think. We'll field blower away this lovely field uh, fairy garden, and then we're going to tap on this. So we turn KO as well as getting rid of all our HP and all our damage is not bad at all. Our prize is the grass, which is very very good if we get stomped here. The game plan here. I fear about really doing some good damage, some good work here. Could go into this to try and get elixir, no retreat. So what are you gonna go into, Mr. Seagrave? Whether they went to his diglet, it's free retreat? Yeah, it's a free retreat, diglet's a free retreat. There's another fairy. And there's another and there is super rod. There's another fairy. Three. And there's fairy garden. And there's second more, so that's not good. At least not. Mm. Field blower is what we're worried about here. There's the XP share. There's elixir. No field blower. Hope. Hope for no field blower. Oh dear. Probably death. Ah, just death. Three, six, nine, or two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Um, return KO with lately seems quite like, like a good idea. Only we could draw. And we'll Skyla for an N for next turn. Got N. I was going to lay kill. What was that one break? So, what do we? How what happens here next? He's going to put up his his Rainbow Force Xerneas. So he might have he might have, he does a DCE. And there's another one. Is he killing me off here? Yeah, I think he is. Oh, that's not good. 2, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Yeah. And he's definitely killing me off now. This game does not look good. 
for old Andrew. He'll need one more kill here. Man, he's got less retreat, so we'll put him up. Got another bullet. I think we're banking an awful lot here. And that was really stupid. I should have energy recycled. That was very, very silly. Um although it doesn't we're not too punished, luckily. But um, what I should have done there, then I recycled first, and then done that. But luckily, we weren't too bad off. Um, I was very lucky. I'm gonna have to. So I remember, kids, what you want to do in that situation is. Their energy recycler, and then do all the vehicle vault stuff. So the wing condition here is knock out one of these, hopefully, and then kill him with a Lysander. If we have any Lysander left, yes, we do. Unless he has Lele for like No, he can't kill me. I don't think. So. Yeah, we have a chance, a second more, but I don't know what elixirs he gone through. Two. Needs elixir DCE. How many DCEs he got? One. Oh, he got it. Oh, well done. Fair play. Fair play. We, we were mounting to come back there, but uh, just, he got so quick, and the deck's inherently quite quick. So, oh well to that one, but I think, we have, I think we'll have, we have time for one more. We had so many quick games that I think we need to have one more full one here. Just to show off the deck one last time. So, Rainbow Force, it, it depends on how they play and how it works out for you, but. And it's Metagross. So, basically, our games haven't been great, but we are getting Metagross. This shows off the Coco side of the game. We really need Coco in this game. Oh, we don't get heads. Um, Coco's really the main event here. Because we need to uh, spread enough damage on his Pokemon. Don't start Coco, of course. We can at least get Coco off a Bridget. If we draw a, if we draw a switch, it'd be quite good. We're gonna get, we're gonna get a Mulligan draw here, though. Yeah, definitely, definitely good old Metagross. So really, it is spread damage. We're gonna, we're gonna have to start in this game. I'll take my Mulligan draw. Can we draw Coco. Oh. Start off with a long nine tails, a long Vulpix, sorry, and a Beldum. Um, a Skyla means not going to end. He is skyla for, I guess, a Bridget for next turn, maybe? Not well. I wonder what his hands like, the supporters? I don't think Skyla is the one to go for there, is it? Unless he's, he's got a Lele for so a win condition here really is that Lele. If he benches two Lele's, we've got a good we've got a win condition. Ah, uh, that's basically how it works. Obviously you can't bridge it this turn. Because he's already Skylit, so it's my turn now. And a rare candy. We're gonna ultra ball. Um Teammate might be important. We've got a lot of Skylit, so we could take away Skylit, but Skylit gets us I think we take away. I think Sycamore here. And I think. No, I need field blowers. Hmm. This is an interesting one, actually. No VS here because you've got to be worried about what, what you discard. We have more. Routine it. 
Um, yep, yeah, Lele. Hopefully, have Bridget. We don't have Bridget. No Bridget. Uh, that is not good for this deck. So that actually changes what we go for here. We may have to go for it as a Coco. Hmm. That changes the deck very much. Got a Grubbin already. We need a Coco White. I think we go Coco. I think we have to go Coco here. Gonna play Coco, and then gonna Lysander. Mm. Gonna Skyler for a switch, I think. Gonna Skyler for a. Hmm. Having no no Bridget really didn't help this match, but oh well. Probably wasn't very good sequencing, probably wasn't that great. Probably should have sick him a lot of problems there. Um, no Bridget. That's what killed us off there. Bridget would have made the deck a lot different if we had it. Uh, drawn to hopefully a draw supporter or something. So uh, that's the problem with only playing one Bridget. We could play two, I think. I think it might change it to two. Two Bridget really helps. In these sort of situations, there's grass energy. We're gonna lie Sander up, I think. There's no there's no energy in the discard yet, so I'm gonna just lie Sander up his Metagross. I'm gonna attach it to the Bokoko. and end. Sycamore, I think. No, yes, yeah, Sycamore. If he had metal, he would have put it on the here. Yeah, he metal. There's metal there. Probably the algorithm. This isn't good. So, oh well. I'm not quite sure what we do out of this one, but hey, Bridget was prized. Um, should play two Bridgets, I guess. That's really what happens if you if you prize a card you really need. Maybe you should play more of it. Nothing that wrong, really. Nothing that bad. Draw the grubbin. Um, let's watch the pain train, I guess. The pain train is coming our way. There's another Metagross. Rare Candy Metagross. Potentially even Rare Candy Metagross. So maybe some energy to them discard. Yep, there's an energy. I think Ultra Ball away an energy. And I think we scoop at this point. So, that was bad. Um, yeah, probably should have kept the Sycamore then at that point. A lot wrong with that match. Um, no, Bridget didn't help. We probably should play two. I think I'll change it to two Bridgets just for these kind of things. Um, again, that was crap. Do we have one more? I go on. Well, one more. One more try for a long one. It was annoying. That was annoying. But that's the way it is. Pokemon probably should play two. No point blaming your prizes. Another Bulu if you could pull in here a match. But if we get a long mirror match, then we'll play. Who cares? At this point, we've played a lot of games. Pokey MLG, the female this time. Just gotta remember my pronouns. What is your coin flip, Mrs? What's it gonna be? Uh, what's it gonna be then, eh? Could be anything. Could be. Could be anything, could be one or two situations. This isn't brought up the game yet. Never know with that weird combination. Could be a Coco, a uh, Tapu Coco variant. Oh, much better. No basic Pokemon play, but we're starting off with Bulu's. And we've got a Coco. Oh, uh, yeah, Coco, no Robin. So, what we're we doing here? Anning Bubbler. 
And we're playing against... Yeah, it's Vika Voodoo. With a tact in Hex. That is not good. Hex might hurt us a bit. Might hurt us a tiny bit. If he gets... If she gets it off, sorry. If she gets it off. Let me see what she starts off with. The nice set of moon sleeves. We shall draw a mulligan. We are going first. We draw into the best ever support. Oh, a tact in Mew. Not a bad idea, to be fair. I don't mind the Mew idea, to be fair. But no budget. Go for one of you. And, of course, one of you. Um, we could keep these two bench spaces for... We're going to keep these two bench spaces for Lele's and or Shaman's. Could go Coco. We don't need really Coco, so we're just going to go those two. And attach. And go ahead. Depends an awful lot what our next um, draw really is. He's got a free retreater. He's not a bad card of her. And. Um, not Bridget. Which is the main thing. It ain't not Bridget. And it is a guaranteed Vika Vault if we get it off. It's a guaranteed Vika Vault. We could absolutely destroy this poor guard's heart if we take out the Bulu. If we're able to get everything. Like a rare, we get rare candy here, it'd be amazing. Oh, we get Skyla. We are guaranteeing ourselves. We can't do the full blown combo, get him pomp combo turn, but we can at least guarantee ourselves Bulu, uh, Vika Vault this turn. So Skyla. For our because he was prized. Um need you. No matter what. Um let's get a prized here. One ultra ball prized. I think one ultra ball prized. And one second more prized. Two fury belts prized. And I think one shaman prized. One shaman, one lele prized. And I'm not sure about that, but there we go. Let's get a rare candy. Let's get a heavy ball for our lovely Vega Vault. Um, I think we play on the Coco just so we have a free retreater if we get knocked out here. Um, I think we attach just because it means we'd have to. Yeah, I'll just go for one, I think. We need to knit your job and take out that Coco. Hello. We'll say hello back. We've got our Bulu set up. Our lady, at least. We've got a Bulu set up. It has got no Vika Vault set up. She's got no Vika Vault set up yet, or no Grubbins even. Ain't great. Another Bulu. There's N. Can we N ourselves into Lysander? Because that would be really, really good. We can. And we have. Oh, it's an awful lot of grass, but it doesn't matter anyway. We're a shaman. We'll attach grass to this Bulu here. We're then going to Ultra Ball away, I think, the shaman. Don't really need the shaman. We can get our Lele. We can get our Lysander. We can basically shut the deck down, really, once we get Lysander here, really, don't we? Not quite the one with energy on it. Um, no, I think I'll wait. With lovely Vika Vault. So we're not going to this to Bulu. Let's take more. And a Fighting Fury Belt. Not bad at all. What in the graveyard? Three and one. 
depending on which grass the lightning energy we've got there. Catch on the grass. I actually think we escape up here if we don't get end. That's rare candy. Oh, we're getting one. Oh, we're getting return KO'd. I think. And there's a second more. Get return, we're we're going to get return KO'd, I think, here. It uh, doesn't really matter. Because they'll KO this one. I can then go to this one. Fighting Fury Belt it. Make sure we don't get return KO again. Return KO. I really want an end. Very badly want the end here. Just because her hand's very big. Quite a lot of cards in the hand. But there we go. And don't need the cocoa, I know, so I know what we're doing here. I think we just sick of more here, really. Because we're gonna do this. Um, yeah. Death. So what we got here? We got Ultra Ball. know how we lose this one. Um a lot has to go right for her. I think she has to literally just get to fair I know I know she she needs field blower energy. Yeah she needs a field blower energy and a bulu. There's the bulu part salt I think unless she's gonna end me. Two grass. How much grass do you have in that deck in that hand? That's a very good question you ask. There's the Bulu. There's one half, there's one third of the combo. I will use a lot of grass. There's Brock Grit, there's a grass back in. You get actually one hit KO'd the Bulu next turn with a Vega Vault because of Chase Band. That would be funny. If we had to do that, that would be hilarious. No Brock's, uh, Brock's Grit though means she has she has to have Fury Belt in the actual hand. No matter what. She has to have Field Blower in hand. And there's Choice Band. Does that, that doesn't do it. Choice Band won't do it. Choice Ban will not do it. She's, she'll be one off. Maybe she's realizing this. I'm not sure. I wonder what she's going to do. If the Bulu goes, we can literally Vika Vault. <laughs> we can Vika Vault kill him. <laughs> kill her. Kill the Bulu anyway. Because we can. Um, we don't, no, we cannot go no turn. And I think that's game. That's Vika, Vika, Bulu, Vika Vault for two. One and a two. And let's go Vika Vault again for one. So that's us really I think. We're going to have to knock this one out. And that will be our game. A good win. Good win for us there. And I think we'll, I think we'll wrap it up here. A lot of good battles. I'll go to the deck list one more time here for you. So 
that was Bulu. I love the deck. Please give it a wee go. And I'll see you next time. So I'll put the deck one more here. One more time. And there it is for you. So thank you very much for joining us. I hope to see you again soon. And hopefully you enjoy Bulu as much as I do. Goodbye.